Welcome back to Larry Trace YouTube channel. In this class, we'll be learning how to make this beautiful cow neckline blouse. It's a very simple tutorial and it's beginner friendly. If this is something you like to learn, kindly stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. Thank you. Okay, so to make this, the first thing you need is your basic bodies. So it can be just up to your half length if you are having maybe a skirt, a long skirt or a peplum or whatever it is. But I'll be making this into a full length so I'm drafting my basic bodies. The armhole I'm working with is eight and a half inches. The waistline that I'm working with is 15 and a half and then my full length is going to be 24 and a half. So I'm just going to exhaust what I have on this paper. So I'm going to make these measurements into a straight line. So I'm just trying to draft a quick bodies and it's going to be that less so here i'm going to take my shoulder measurements 14 divided by 2 it's going to give me 7 inches then i'll take my shoulder slope of 1 inch there then i'll take my neckline measurement so i don't want it too wide i'm going to make it like a turtleneck so i'll make it two and a half inches by one inch for the front for the back sorry and then two and a half inches by three inches for the front so i'm going to use this draft to cut both my front and back so this is my front back neckline and this is my front neckline and my shoulder slope so the bust point is the bust measurement is 36 inches 36 divided by 4 is going to give me 9 inches and I have 9 inches there and then the waist measurement is 30 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 7 and a half inches and the hip measurement is 40 inches divided by 4 is going to give me 10 inches so I'm going to connect all these together and then I'm not going to be adding allowance to this pattern I'll add my allowance when I'm transferring it on my fabric so this is just a rough sketch of the basic bodies and I'm going to be modifying this to get my actual cow neckline. Okay, so before I modify this pattern, I'm going to cut my back panel first before I modify this to this to the cow neckline. So to cut my back panel, remember I want to add a zipper to this. So I'm going to be including zipper allowance on my fabric when I place it. So I'll just put my fabric on fold and then leave one inch for my zipper allowance before placing my pattern on it. And then I'm going to add my side seam allowance also because this pattern does not have a side seam allowance. So this is my back panel. You can see that I added my zipper allowance at the center back and then also on the side i added one and a half inches allowance because i don't have seam allowance on the sides of my pattern so now i'm just going to set this back piece aside then i can work on the front so i'm going to be modifying what i have on this front piece so now to make this a cow pattern i'm going to slash it on the waist area so now this is not you don't have to slash on the waist area alone it depends on where you want to introduce your volume you can add more slash lines and then you cut it open and spread so for those that have been asking about slash and spread this is just a simple method of introducing more volume to your pattern or your garments okay so there are some styles that you may not be able to do with just your regular flat pattern so you just try to modify it as much as possible to accommodate to accommodate more fullness okay so now i'm just going to slash this i'm not introducing too much volume on this on the lower part i just want to concentrate on this upper part so now i've slashed this now and then i'm going to spread it like this you can see that i have more space here so now to spread this i'm going to bring in a fresh pattern and then i'm going to spread this on it okay so you can see you can actually spread this directly on your fabric or you can just get a fresh paper like this spread this before transferring it to your fabric so now this is entirely dependent on the style that you're going for for me i'm just going to be having pleats on the shoulder area so i'll just place it on this center front now and then spread but if you want to have pleats on your waistline also you can just measure maybe so that you can have more volume on this waist area okay remember now that i'm placing it on my center front i'll have my exact waist measurement here but if you want to have more volume around that place you can just 
measure maybe two three or four inches like this and then you roll it just like what i have on this side you can measure like three or four inches now and then you make it into a straight line before you place your pattern on it okay so now after measuring that you place your pattern on it before you spread so that way you have this allowance for you to be able to place so if you want me to do a tutorial on that style also let me know in the comment section below. for this tutorial i'm just going to be pleating on the shoulder area my back my lower my waist remains my lower part here that's my hip remains the same so now i'm just pinning this i'm just going to place this now hold it with the tape then i'm going to spread this okay so i'm gonna have to hold this m area with a paper tape so that it can stay in place for me and then my pattern is still the same like this i've not spread it at all so now the first thing i'm going to do now still the same you can still see that my pattern is still as it is i'm going to go upwards by four inches okay from my shoulder area so from here now i'm going upwards by four inches so you can see then that four inches i'm going to make it into a straight line i hope you can see what i'm doing okay so i'm making the four inches into a straight line so on that straight line i'm going to take my shoulder measurement remember the shoulder i started with was seven inches so now from my center front now i'm taking that seven inches measurements okay so you note that then i'm going to open up this 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 pattern from my slash line so the measurement that i'll be using to open it up also is going to be the same seven inches that i used here okay so now i'll place my tape room now here and once i have seven inches i can i can stop okay so this is the tip let me just color the tip so that we can see it. so this is the tip of my center front so from there now and then i'm working with the front panel now so i'm going to cut off my neckline to match up my front so you can see the front neckline here so now i'm going to measure seven inches just the same shoulder measurement that i have and then i'm going to open my pattern up to that seven inches mark you can see the opening that i have there and then again i'm going to hold it with a tape i hope we can get that so the next thing i'm going to do is to okay so let me take this again so that we understand it the first thing i did was to place my pattern exactly the same way it is and then on the upper part here i went upwards by four inches and i made it into a straight line on that straight line i took my shoulder measurement now and then i measured it so now um, it's time for me to open up my pattern to open up my pattern the same shoulder measurement of seven inches i'm going to measure it and then use that to open up my pattern so you can see i'm opening it up and then on my center front where my center front is you can see where my center front is that is where i'm going to stop these seven inches so you can see okay so after stopping my opening around my center front area i'm going to glue it i'm going to tape it down like that so the next thing i'm going to do now is to connect from my shoulder point to this first sh sh shoulder measurement that i took here using my straight ruler so now from my shoulder point i'm going to start measure a slant line from the shoulder to this mark here Then I can trace out my arm O and then my side seam. So on my side seam, remember I don't have to introduce my allowance, the same one and half inches that I had it for the back. I'm going to add it for the front also. So you can see that I'm already adding allowance to my patterns now. So you can do this directly on your fabric, but because I want it to be clear and it will be clearer on paper because it's white that's why i'm doing this on my paper so now you're going to connect this together and then you blend anywhere that needs to be blended mm. because you don't want any sharp edges okay, so i'm just trying to 
length in this area okay you can see what i have there then i'm going to connect my ample so now if you are okay with this pattern all you just need to do is cut this house ball i want to achieve a I want to achieve a turtle neckline and I want it to also have and I also want it to have a bishop collar there and also I'm not okay with this volume I still want more volume on my neckline area so to get this volume now I'm still going to go upwards by you can do three four or five inches depending on what you want but I'm just going to go upwards by five inches like this I hope you can see that and then I'm going to take my shoulder measurement again, which is 7 inches. And then from that shoulder point, I'm going to go up by 5 inches. So I need this so that I can get a perfect straight line. Then I'm going to square this like this. So you can see what I have here. So let me quickly explain this. Assuming you are not... You don't want a bishop collar or anything and you want to add a facing to this this is exactly how you are going to be adding a facing to your pattern so you cut it like this and then by the time you cut it you are going to suspend this inside it so but for me i just extended this so that i can have more volume so now the next thing i'm going to do now is to cut out this pattern then i'm going to put my fabric on fold and then cut out my fabric I'll cut out this new shape that I have. I hope you understood how we got it up to this point. pattern i'm just going to bring in my my fabric now and then cut this out on food so i've got my hair to cut this on my fabric and this is what i have so now i'm just going to notch the center of this and by the time i open it out this is what it is looking like so now to get my actual structure back, what I'm going to do simply is just to pleat the shoulder like this, okay? The excess that I have on the shoulder. Remember, my actual shoulder measurement is 7 inches and then I took 2 and half inches for my neckline. So now I can redraw the neckline also or you just draw it after taking your shoulder. So now we're going to be pleating everything that we have here, okay? You can see that it's already forming like this for us. And then on the other side also i'm going to pleat it like this to form my actual shoulder so you can see the extra fullness that we have here so to guide us i'm just going to bring in my back panel so i'm just going to take this one step at a time so now i'll bring it my, bring in my back panel and then i already notch this remember there is a zipper allowance on this so you may want to fold in your zipper allowance here so that it doesn't confuse you i have an inch zipper allowance here and I have folded it in so that I will have my actual neckline measurement, which is two and a half inches. So that's now I'm going to match it up with my center point here. And the excess that I have, so you can see my two and a half inches here. You can note it if you have a chalk. I can just put it on fold and cut it out if you want. So now I know that I'm going to pleat everything that I have here. So here now I'm going to pleat all of this like this i'm going to pleat it to fit into what i have on this shoulder so the same thing that i did here now i'm going to go over now and pleat all of this also to fit into the second shoulder so you can see the fullness that i have around this area so i've gone ahead to pleat this now i can see what we have you can see my calf so now i'm going to shape my ham or using my ham or measurement sorry my neckline using my starting neckline measurement if you still have your pattern 
what you need to do is just to simply place it on it you put your fabric on fold like this and then you simply place your pattern on it to trace out your neckline okay so i'm placing this on it like this now and then i'm going to trace out my actual neckline so it is that simple so now i'm cutting out my neckline shape and this is what i have so now i'm going to be sewing the shoulders together the front the two the front and back shoulder and then i'm also going to join it on this side so now i'll take it to my sewing machine now and match the shoulder up and then i'm going to consider i've pleated it to my exact shoulder measurement if you have any extension like this you just need to trim it up because because we did not trim it on the sharp point so i'm going to sew it together on the shoulder and then i'm going to match the sides together also and then i'm going to join it together on this side then i'll bring it back to show us so i've gone ahead to sew it on the shoulder and then on the sides and this is what i have so you can see the extra fullness that i have on the chest area and like i said i'm concentrating my fullness on this area not the lower side okay so if you want me to do a tutorial on a full body cow a full cow body where you have plates on your waist area or hem area also let me know in the comment section i just want us to take this one step at a time so that it will not be too overwhelming you can start with this then we we'll move to more advanced ones and this is actually a requested tutorial so i just have to follow what the person wants so i have this now the next thing is just to fix your bishop collar and then any sleeve of your choice i have several tutorials on how to fix a bishop collar already on the channel and then i have several sleeve tutorials on the channel also so you can just go ahead and pick the ones you want and just fix your sleeve to your hand pull and then fix your bishop collar to your neckline so i'll take this to the mannequin so that we we'll see what it looks like so this is what the neckline is looking like you can see the pleat on the shoulder and the amount of extra fullness we have on the chest area and a little on the waist you can see that we stopped our slashing around the waist area so if you want to introduce more volume to the m also it is possible like i explained in the video so this is what the full view is looking like here you just need to fix any sleeve of your choice around the hand pull. You can see how simple it is to make this. How can you enjoy making this tutorial with me? If you enjoyed this, let us know in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.